Hello, welcome to Saturday Night Crafting. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a really good week. Quick little reminder, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, tonight is just about having fun. I got some new dyes. I wanted to play with them. Um, these dyes come in DL as well as Slimline. So I've kind of done up the measurements for a DL card here and I'm using the dies sort of aimed at a DL sized card. Um, so I've got my layer one and layer two. I like to know which layers I've got. Um, if I plan to make lots of cards, then I do something like this where I've got like a little template just so I've got some measurements right there to hand and I basically base them on my envelope. So there's my DL envelope. Difference between a slimline and a DL is the slimline is slightly fatter, I think, than a slimline. So these are the new dies that I've got. Um, they come in circles and squares, and these are kind of like the accent dies that go along with the big dies that you could use as a front panel. So um, they kind of go with these ones here, they say on the back. So they're quite big. You can get them in DL and slimline as well. Um, and I just thought they were really, really fun. So I thought I'd have a play with them and try them out. Um, they are from Craft Stash, and so I will link them down below for you. Um, so you can take a look at them if you want to. Uh, I love that they come in both sizes. I think that's quite fun. And they've got slightly different patterns to them as well, which is really cool. Now, I've played with them quite a lot. And they cut so nice. They really do. Sometimes, you know, you have to run them back and forth. But I ran these through with really thick cardstock and they cut really easily. So to me, that's a great quality die. So I'm really happy with them. Um, I've had a lot of fun with them. So for this card, I want to use these little circles. So again, I'm just sharing the slight difference in size between the DL ones and the slimline ones. I think I actually use the slimline ones in this card. It doesn't really matter. Um, one's just slightly bigger than the other. So I've got the three dies at that set. I've got this awesome holographic card, which is actually sold out now on Amazon. I linked it in my last video because that's where I picked it up and it sold out so quick. So I've signed up for um, an email notification to have um, Amazon let me know if they have it back in stock and I'll let you know if it comes in. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use that holographic card. I love it because it kind of takes on the color of whatever card stock you're working with. So it's a really pretty fun card to work with. Now I'm taking my little dies. You can see there to the left, there's that extra circle. These dies cut into your cardstock. They don't cut an edge or a border. Same with those large um, dies I shared with you a couple minutes ago. They only cut into the cardstock. So you can cut yourself a panel and they'll just die cut out of it. You'll see what I mean in just a second. I'm lining them up so they're roughly even and I'm just gonna tape them down with some low tack tape. Um, this is tape that I get from AliExpress. It's basically post-it note tape on a roll. So it's quite nice and big and it's really, really low adhesive. So you can peel it off super easy. That little die to the left there is an outline die and you could use that die to also die cut out your shape if you wanted, um, if you want to have just the image as a circle. I wanted it to be cut into the cardstock. I love these fun designs. Having the three different ones all together looks really cool. You can see how easily those cut out. I didn't even have to poke out anything with my pokey tool, so that was really awesome. Now you could kind of stop here and you could leave it as a plain white panel, but we're gonna have some fun and play with some mixed media. So these are all my powders. I've got my explosion powders from Pretty Gets Gritty, and then I've got the Pixie Sparkles by Cosmic Shimmer, which are these ones here. I've done them all on black and on white cards. I'll link the video down below where I share this all with you if you want a bit of a more of a run through of them. I decided I want the purple and the teal. I want bright, fun colors um, on this card. I really want it to pop. So I'm going to use those two today. And to get started, you could either use watercolor card. I use just normal card in this one, just normal thick cardstock. I think it was about 250 GSM. I spritz it with some water to kind of get those powders to activate and, and move around. And then I kind of just tap the bottom of the bottle and it kind of pops it out the front. It's kind of like tapping a ketchup bottle. You know, you got to kind of get the right angle and then you can kind of pop it all out. And I just found that easier than shaking it or tapping the sides. If you just kind of tap the back end of it, you can see this is me shaking it. It's not really going very far. You tap it and all of a sudden it just starts popping out like crazy. So 
Um, that's all I did with this. It's starting, the cardstock has got quite wet, so I'm tapping the powder on. You're not seeing it really explode on there very much because it's kind of lost its dampness a little bit. So I'm going to spritz it again a bit in a second, and you'll see that color activate a bit more. You do have to put it a bit more of this powder on than the explosion powders from Pretty Gets Goody. Um, it just takes a bit more pushing it down, but here you can see all that color exploding and shifting around. What I like to do is leave it sit for a while. So I'm going to take it off my mat. I kind of chuck it on my floor in my office. So my floor is a little bit multicolored right now, but I don't care. No one else goes in there. Um, and I've just chucked it on my floor to dry naturally for as long as possible. I've got this little pack here. This is where I keep all my watercolor scrap offcuts. And whenever I have something like this left on my desk, I love to make the most of it and absorb it up and make some little backgrounds. These would be great for die cutting sentiments, for using on smaller cards. You could cut them into strips and add them onto cards in that way. I think it's always worth keeping your cardstock scraps from watercolor card especially because it is an expensive card. Mine is all Arteza Ex Expert watercolor card. I'll link it down below, but I love it because it's really thick and it always, always gives me an amazing result. So I love using it. And these are all my Arteza scraps. So I just keep them all there and then I use them uh, when I've got all this leftover on my desk. So I've done all my little samples, just chuck them to the side, spray with water on my media mat, and then I can just wipe it up again. Um, then these powders, they don't set um, like the pretty get gritty ones, which you've seen me use before. So I've got to spray it with some hairspray to keep that mica powder on. So it's kind of got a bit of a silvery mica powder in it, and I need to set it to keep it um, staying on there. Otherwise, I could rub it with my fingers and it would all come off. Now I'm using some super sticky tape. This is the Craft Stash Budget Range tape. I love it because it's massively sticky. I'm removing all the center bits of tape that I put down and peeling back the corners of the rest of it. And then this allows me to line it up nice and even with a tiny little border around the outside. So it's about an eighth of an inch bigger, um, the holographic card. So I was just checking there that that mica powder is not coming off, that my hairspray did the job and it did. So I'm really happy. I pull out those little tabs once I've got it lined up nice and then it's all on there. I didn't add any adhesive behind the little die cuts, but you could if you wanted to. I've gone ahead and made myself a black card base and I die cut some little rings out of that die that I shared with you at the very beginning using the same black card stock. And that kind of just defines those circles. You could leave them as is, but I really like the look of putting the black ring around them. I think it makes it really pop. And when we add that front panel onto our card base, it really blends in really nicely with the fact that we've got a black card base and those black rings. So it kind of ties it together a bit more. So really quick and easy way to make a card. I've gone ahead and done the same thing here with my um, sticky tape. This is a trick I learned from Natasha Foot on Facebook, or um, YouTube, by the way. Um, it's really, really handy. I've gone ahead and cut myself a panel for the inside as well, because obviously you need somewhere to write. Sometimes I skip this step, and then I always regret it, because I never go back and add the panel in, um, and if I do, it's such a pain. So I try and make sure I do it in my video, and then my card is ready to go when I want to use it. I've got these dies. They're from Lou Collins' um, new collection on Craft Stash. They are really quite neat. So you've got this kind of shadow outline die, but it is literally um, like a stencil of the word. So I'm bulking it up with three layers in the white. And then I've got the black letters that I'm going to pop inside those ones. So it kind of sticks up and pops out, but my black is nice and close to the card. I don't think I'm making any sense, but hopefully you're getting the idea from watching the video. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those letters back in. And I love it because it says reflect and it's on reflective cardstock. I'm like, oh, clever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I want to put that little center back in to that R because it was looking a bit funny and a bit naked without that little insert. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the whole R, put it on top, and then push that little tiny bit back through the middle. And I felt like it just kind of finished it off a lot nicer. I've got all these little um, enamel dots. They're kind of like flat back, sticky back enamel dots that I picked up on AliExpress. I'll try and find the link and put them down below for you. I've just ordered another bundle of, I think, 10 or 15 of these sheets. 
uh, for about, I think it was 15 sheets for about 10 pounds um, with free delivery. And they're just so worth it because I get this huge bundle of all these colors and I always find something that matches my card. And these are the glitter ones. You can get them in matte finish, shiny finish. Um, and that kind of just finished off the whole card for me. So if you've got any dies like this that cut into your cardstock, do this technique, have a go, have fun with some of the stuff in your office, whatever you've got hanging around and have a play. I have got a Facebook group if you'd like to join us over there and share any of your makes with us. Um, there's a link down in the description box below. Just make sure you answer the questions when you ask to join um, or you might not get approval. I need to just make sure that everyone is um, a real life person rather than a robot. So take care. I look forward to seeing you again this week. Bye.